Hi everyone, it's Lori and I am here to give you your daily oracle message. Today we're going to start with the whispers of love and it looks like it is going to be you are limitless card number four. You can do anything that you choose to. This is about you understanding how to set your intentions and receive exactly what you want. Expectation is how you bring this to you, okay? You are directly connected with the divine energy, the flow, the con collective consciousness, your higher power, source, whatever you want to call it. We are all energy, and energy is limitless. It never ends. It never goes away. It's here. It fizzles. It comes back. It's just there. It's constant. It does not ever die, okay? So if you choose to set an intention out into the world for a desire, something that you want, that you want to achieve, that you want to do, that you want to have, you have to believe that you are going to receive it, that you are a divine being incapable of receiving this. Whether it be love, finances, abundance, happiness, it does not matter what it is, friendship, beauty, okay? Whatever it is, you can have it if you have the right attitude. Let me see what the book says about this. Four is about stability and being grounded in your belief systems. All right, this says here that when you are too close to a situation, you only have one perspective. There are so many other possible outcomes for any given situation. Go ahead, take a step back, take a broader look at what's going on. You can release the need to control what is happening and allow your inner understanding, your intuition to help guide you. Things will always work out the way that they are meant to. When your soul is experiencing itself in its purest form, it has limitless knowledge, infinite wisdom, and boundless energy. You may have developed some sort of negative self-talk that is limiting you and what you can accomplish. And that's your ego. And we all have an ego, and that ego wants to keep us in our comfort zone. And that's why we don't receive the things that we think about, that we think we want, okay? So go ahead and uh, connect to the beautiful light that dwells within you and represents your soul, your divinity. Connect with that. Connect with your intuition. Remember that your abilities are fueled by your imagination. What comes to your mind when you're daydreaming, sleeping, napping, relaxing, connecting with nature, connecting with friends, whatever. If you're an artist and you're creating anything, food, Paintings, drawings, writings, dancing, whatever it is, music. How are you feeling? What are you thinking? You know when you get in that energy that you can always achieve anything that you set out to. So dream big, okay? Listen to that inspiration that you are receiving and then take action on that. In this card, we can actually see a unicorn emerging from a woman's being, okay? Okay. This unicorn represents healing powers, possibility, and the knowledge of the soul. There are two swans that sit in the heart area to signify the grace that is connected to you always. Trust in your ability and understand and know that you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. You just have to have faith, belief, expectations that it will come to you. Uh, something I just heard today was about expecting. A mother is expecting a child. She doesn't doubt that at the end of the nine months, she's going to have a child in her hands, that it's going to be tiny, that it's going to have 10 fingers or 10 toes. She expects this, and this is what she will receive. She can't receive something else if she, it just doesn't work that way. What you expect to come to you is what will come to you. All right, I do hear another, uh, an oracle, or I'm sorry, an angel number for you. 
Let's see how this ties in with your oracle message here. One, two, three, four. Good luck is here. All right. Spirit guides are helping you. You're making progress. We have justice here. That's representing all those lovely Libras out there. Um, things being made right. Doing things the right way. Structures, systems, processes. Conditioning, okay, so that has to do with those things that hold us back. Conditioning, we have been taught, oh, only the rich can get richer, the poor will always stay poor. Don't believe any of those things. That's called conditioning, societal conditioning. All right, and the rules. Who made the rules? So here's your message. You are on the right track. Someone from the other side, your higher power, guardian angels, elevated ancestors, have your back, and they are encouraging you to try your best, okay? Don't put effort out there. Put energy out there. Be positive. Be uplifting and convinced and expectant that you will receive the very best because you will succeed at that point, okay? You can do anything you choose. Observe your surroundings. What's happening? Okay. Are things coming to you when you believe in it? Are they not? Are you holding yourself back? Are you letting other people decide for you? Communicate exactly what it is you intend. What do you want? What do you not want? Communicate that clearly. And be confident that everything will fall into place. Okay. Beautiful message there. And I am hearing something else here. Yeah. I don't know where it is, but yep, yeah, I'm hearing that. All right. Let's see what goes with this Oracle message here. It's this deck. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a spirit animal message. You have the ram. It's perseverance. You have many talents, my dears. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. You can do anything that you choose because you are limitless and you know how to persevere. All right? With patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never, ever give up. And good luck, good fortune will follow. Beautiful message there. So keep going. Make up your mind, choose what you want, set your intentions, expect to receive, and you shall receive. All right, if, uh, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness.